So a few weeks ago, I hit a tree stump and bent my brake pedal almost 90 degrees off to the right. Uh, luckily, my buddy had a wrench and we were able to bend it back enough that I could finish riding for the day. But the brake pedal definitely needed to be replaced. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this spring on the bottom side of the pedal. Uh, it's easiest to work from the right side where it's hooked rather than the left side. Next, we just need to remove the bolt that is clamping the brake pedal onto that brake pivot shaft. You're going to need a 12 millimeter socket head uh, and extender to get that out. All right, up next, we have a split pin that we have to remove. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the best video that I can, but my camera won't focus. So here's a picture of what that looks like. Just a pin that goes through and then is bent on either side uh, up to keep that bolt in place. Easiest way to remove it is to slide underneath the bike, use a screwdriver to bend those kind of edges back straight. And once you can get it kind of straight, you can use a screwdriver to push it up through. And use a pair of needle nose pliers to just continue to push and eventually pluck it out. With the split pin removed, we can remove this pin or bolt uh, connecting the brake pedal to the master cylinder. And you still don't have quite enough clearance or room, so rather than loosening up that hex nut, you can just bend it over. From here, everything is unattached. So I just took the soft part of my needle nose pliers and gave it a couple hits to knock it loose. Uh, there's some dust and dirt in there that makes it hard to just slide off. Um, I also found that taking a flathead screwdriver in the little slot and kind of opening it up allowed me to get over that last set of teeth. And the pedal just slides out. There's that dust and debris. I'm just going to clean that out real quick. It'll make it easier to slide the new brake pedal in. And the new one slides in the exact same spot. You want to make sure that this brake rod didn't spin around on you because once it's free, it can and that little flange is at the back rather than the front. Now we can slide everything back onto that brake pivot shaft. And put this little bolt back in. And try your best to get that split pin back in there. It's easiest to start off up at the top. And then once you get it pushed in all the way through, use a dolly or something to slide underneath the bike and use that flathead screwdriver just to bend the end of those pins back. All right, then we'll need to put that final bolt back in. Again, that's a 12 millimeter socket. And our final step is just to put that spring back on and hook it up to the left. Use the shaft of a screwdriver to pull it over to finish that connection. Make sure you pump the brakes a few times, just for good measure. And then if you want to adjust your pedal either up or down in reference to your foot pegs, uh, just loosen the little hex nut in the bottom and then tighten the bolt 
it'll go up or down, which will either raise or lower uh, that pedal, that brake pedal. Then tighten the bottom locking hex and you're all good.